do well to turn that possession over for Longford. Here's McMenemy to Craven. Craven takes it on the spin, but it just got away from him. Clever little interception from McCormick, but that's the type of player that's earned him a living in this game. And that's a good ball into the penalty area. Here's a chance for Waweru. He lets it run, and that was Walsh with the effort. A man that is in great goal scoring form, already three. Goals. Seven and a half minutes on the clock, and this is a really good opportunity for them to test out this long for back four now. With a ball into the danger area. McCormick gives the signal. But uh, I suspect he's going to leave it to Hurley. He is high float of ball. Dennison decides not to come. Indecisive defender from Longford Town. But the flag will save them on this occasion. Assistant referee. Menemy, but again, Verdon beaten to the pitch of that one. But Longford keep it alive with Craven. But again, they turn possession over quite quickly. Here's Luke Dennison, who spent uh, part of last season on loan at Galway. And that is an absolute disaster at the back. One of the strangest goals you'll see. Can pick out someone in red and black in the middle. Unfortunately, he doesn't on this occasion, but encouraging signs for Longford. Good to see Eric Malloy coming across there and linking up with Graydon. He's yeah. uh, not afraid to drift out from his uh, his position on the wing. And that's a good ball towards Verdon. He got a flick on it. That's a good save from Connor Kearns. Here is Malloy. He's going to keep the attack alive. Go, he's just starting to string a couple of passes together now. And much of their play coming through this man, the man with the airbag, Connor McCormick. He goes square to Hurley. Hurley, lovely bit of skill. Gets by McMenemy. Hurley looks up, cross in towards Waweru. Surely a push in the back by Waweru. Indeed, it was a push there on Dylan Barnett. That'll be a free kick to Longford Town. It's a ball up towards Verdon, but he was double marked there, Verdon. And Elworthy's late to that one. He's made contact with Mikey Rowe. And I suspect, yep, yeah, the yellow card's going to come out. And you couldn't argue with that, really, Aaron. Yeah, I think uh, he's late, he's high. Takes all it's McMenemy that stands over it for the town. Two men in the wall for Galway. Connor Kearns organising his defence in front of him as McMenemy swings it in. And it's touched over the bar by Connor Kearns. I think that might have been an overhit cross from McMenemy. Maybe I'm not doing him justice. Deep foul and after you saying they've, they've had a very disciplined first half defensively, Galway putting themselves under some unnecessary pressure here. Again, Connor Kearns busy at work organising his players in front of him, but Barnett swings it in against a poor cross again from Barnett. There was some appeals for a handball, but you've got to beat the first man from that situation. Again, Robinson mops it up for the town. Here's Craven, who had that chance just a few moments ago. He plays it over to the top towards Graydon. It's a mistake in the goalway back four. Can Graydon get a shot away? He chips it in towards Verdon. Verdon doesn't get the clearest of contacts on it, but he won't care because the ball is in the back of the net. It's 1 1 at Bishopsgate. Well, it's a whole here, Walsh. The two number threes coming to blows here. Barnett, though, has done well initially, but he should have cleared his lines. That's allowed Walsh to keep it alive. Craven digs Walsh out of, uh, sorry, digs Barnett out of trouble. Here's Hurley looking to have a shot. That's blocked. It'll be a corner to Galway. Barnett did well initially, Aaron. Got his body in front of Walsh, but he should have played that ball away to safety. Yeah, he did. Intensity moment of the game. This uh, could have a big outcome here. This free kick for Galway. Hurley steps over, it leaves to McCormick. McCormick whips it in towards the back post. Plenty of air time on this one. Header on goal, and it floats just over Luke Dennison's crossbar. It's another let off for Longford Town from a set piece. Yeah, good ball. We talked about their physicality, I think. Presence he's going to give the likes of O'Keefe and Lyons of Bruder. Plenty to think about back there as Ryan Graydon flicks that one over his shoulder. And Craven does well to take it down, plays it up towards Warfield, looking for his first involvement here. Warfield's done really well to win it. Shot on goal from Craven! It might have taken a deflection, but the Longford Town fans, they won't care. It's in. Doing his best to keep the ball alive, and he's done well, or he's laid it off to Craven, but Craven's muscled out over there. That's uh, good defending from Dino Shea, who's come off the bench for Galway. Graydon, nice turn. Can he have a shot on goal here? He's going to try it! And it was just always rising, unfortunately. Just leaned back as he hit it. Uh, he's appealing for the in that one. Header back in. Barnett doesn't get the cleanest of context on his clearance. Lombato plays it in towards Adeyemo. Good first touch. He's going to have a shot on goal. That's a crucial block from Mick McDonald. It'll be a corner to go away. Really, really good block. Great contact on the shot as well. Lovely first touch. Makes it speed. Here to run down the clock. Going to be Lynch to take the throw in. Warfield to Lynch. Back to Warfield again. The two youngsters linking up. Warfield's going to have a crack on goal and got plenty of movement on it there. But just not enough pace. I think it might have been blocked. We've played two minutes of the additional five. Ball up towards Lombato. Robinson gets something on it. But Walsh does well to rescue it for Galway. Hurley plays it over the top. Big chance here for Adeyemo. Flag is up.
Ball in the back of the net, but the flag denies Galway an equaliser. Oh, well, it must have been tight. He does the right. If it stays this way, but Longford Town have another 35 seconds or so to get through here. Connor Kearns again using every inch of that penalty area to launch a long ball forward up towards Lombardo. Ball bounces. Walsh flicks it up. Ben Lynch sticks the head in. High boot on Lynch. And Longford are almost there.